In a major boost to the domestic defense manufacturing capacity, the Indian Ministry of Defense has signed a contract with the Hyderabad-based public sector, Bharat Dynamics, for supply of the Astra Mark I missile, at a cost of 3,000 crore rupees. The Astra Mk-1 is a beyond-visual-range, air-to-air missile. The missile has been designed and developed by the DRDO and manufactured by Hyderabad-based Bharat Dynamics Limited for deployment on fighter jets like Sukhoi-30 MKI and Tejas of the Indian Air Force and the MiG-29K of the Navy. And, it will be integrated with Dassault Mirage 2000 in the future. Astra Mk-1 has been indigenously designed by DRDO and based on staff requirements issued by the Indian Air Force for beyond visual range as well as close combat engagement, reducing reliance on foreign sources. The Astra Mk-1 contract will be completed in six years. The DRDO has finished transferring technology on the missile and associated equipment to BDL and production has already begun. Strategic significance. Astra Mk-1 has a range of over 100 km and 20 km altitude. The Astra's BVR capability provides large standoff ranges to the country's own fighter aircraft, enabling them to neutralize the adversary aircraft without exposing themselves to adversary air defense measures, allowing them to gain and maintain air superiority. This missile outperforms many imported missile systems in terms of technology and cost. At present, India imports similar missiles from Israel, Russia, and some other manufacturers. Astra MKI missile and all associated systems for its launch, ground handling, and testing has been developed by DRDO in coordination with the IAF. As designed to specifications of the Air Force, the missile is dependent on indigenous sources for vital content like its seeker, propulsion, motor and data links. The missile is designed to be launched from fighter aircraft like Su-30, Mirage 2000, MiG-29, LCA Tejas. The missile has already undergone successful trials undertaken by the IAF and Sukhoi-30 MKIs have been subjected to a number of successful tests since 2017. During a series of tests in September 2017, Astra was tested twice with an indigenous seeker. And it is now fully integrated on the Sukhoi-30 MKI fighter aircraft and will be integrated with other fighter aircraft in a phased manner. During user trials in 2019, Astra hit a target at a distance of 90 kilometers. The Indian Navy will also integrate the missile on the MiG-29K fighter jets that are deployed on the Navy's aircraft carriers, which will increase the lethality of India's aircraft carriers. With the IAF operating 600 to 700 fighter aircraft, it will need several thousand of Astra missiles. With air-to-air -air missiles costing about 15 crore rupees each, the Astra will also provide major business opportunities to Indian firms. The missile will also be offered to friendly foreign countries. It will also create opportunities for several MSMEs, micro, small and medium enterprises in aerospace technology. While the Astra Mk-1 has a range of around 110 km, the Mk-2 has a range of over 150 km, and a Mk-3 variant with a longer range is being planned. Another Astra variant with a smaller array than Mk-1 is also being developed. After the deployment of the Astra Mk-1, several follow-on versions are planned, including a longer range version, Astra Mk-2, and a further development called Astra Mk-3 is being planned. While Astra Mk-2 will employ a dual-pulse solid rocket motor for increased range and improved kinematics during the kill phase, the missile will use the same smokeless propulsion as its predecessor Mk-1. The Mk-2 version's range will also be increased to 160 km, putting it in direct competition with the American AIM-120. The Astra Mk-2 variant will use an indigenous seeker, manufactured by Bharat Electronics Limited.
Until now, the technology to manufacture missiles of this class, such as the MK-1, was not available. According to the officials, one of the main benefits of having one's own missile of this type is that, none of your adversaries are aware of its characteristics, such as how it behaves, what frequencies it uses, or its limitations. And also, it can be improved, or upgraded internally, as needed. The project essentially embodies the spirit of self-reliance, and will aid in the country's journey towards self-reliance in air-to-air -air missiles.